I'm Alex Chedrin. I had Sabre Services for Data Art, uh, Data Art Trail and Hospitality Practice. So we'll learn a lot from Sabre as a Sabre authorized developer about what they're doing and the exciting things that are coming in their pipeline. They have a number of great initiatives right now. Uh, some of them are related to hotels and hotel shopping. What they're doing in their lodging platforms combines different sources of inventory. So hotels from different providers, which were not available before. And they are dead duplicating this content and making it available to the agencies. And they're at the same time making it transparent to the suppliers and uh, to the travel agencies on what content is being booked and what content is being available. And that's really exciting because this is a very different approach as opposed to what was, was available two or three years ago. And they're launching this platform soon and that creates an opportunity for the travel agencies to get the content which was not available to the travelers before. So that's really exciting. And that's on the hotel side. And on the air side, Sabre is doing a lot about merchandising and making sure that the offers are generated dynamically and they are tweaking their Bargain Finder Max algorithm to generate and give you the best deals available for the parameters that you're entering. Again, for, from online travel agencies or corporate travel agencies or leisure travel agencies having access to the service in the tools that the agents are using or in the self-booking tools makes a whole lot of difference because you suddenly have a price advantage, you have offers which are unique to your customers. It's, uh, it's going to be a game changer and we're very excited to work with this technology. So the companies that are looking to get advantage of those new Sabre services have a choice. They can figure things out themselves or they can hire people like us who've done this before and who can guide them through the entire process. So one of the things that we bring in is, for example, third-party suppliers that want to get their content in front of the travel agents. They can hire us and we will guide them through the process of building uh, what, what's called the Sabre Red App, which is a plugin for the uh, point of sale for the agent. And we will walk them through the entire process from the design of the application, what the experience of the agent should be, to the support of the application post the certification. Travel industry is first in some areas of the technology. And certainly mobile first approach and being mobile and leveraging geolocation has been a big part of the travel industry in the last five years. Look at the Ubers of the world. Suddenly you're able to get the car in the middle of nowhere and they know how to find you. At the same time, there's a lot of things to learn. And uh, certainly retail with uh, their merchandising experience has been a big part of the things that travel is still to learn. And the financial algorithms for optimizing the shopping experience or generating the right offers is something that we see more and more. We see a lot of people coming from the financial industry into travel and bringing the knowledge of the algorithms from different travel technologies. A lot of the businesses still have a large part of their operations in the offline world. And that's okay, because right now their audience is still, still prefers to pick up the phone and call and create a reservation, especially for the high ticket items. However, the research shows that the new generation prefers to be mobile, to have the shopping experience on their own. And this concept of the digital traveler and supporting the traveler throughout the entire journey from the inspiration to the post booking becomes more and more important. But to transition from this highly operational, non-digital business to a uh, very much digital, very much optimized process requires a lot of change management, requires clear steps in the process of that change, and it needs to be technology enabled. So it could be with the help of the uh, existing platforms. We see a lot of the customers using, for example, Salesforce as a foundational platform. And then above that, you build on top of this 
the services a unique workflows which are specific to the customer organization.